That might just be some. Oh. Yeah. It's not going to get. For fuck's sake, the Citroen C1 has basically broken down. It's given life, mate. The clutch in it has been going for a long time now. It's been needing to be changed for a long time. But it might have just given away. Chloe just called me and um, told me that the clutch, he just doesn't want to move or something. There the pussy wagon is. In fact, Chloe was right. The clutch was basically non-existent. So I did not want to drive it. And to get it back to mine was a 20 minute journey full of different hills, junctions, roundabouts, and a lot of stopping and starting, which would be bad on the clutch. So we called my friend Luke up so he could be the guinea pig driving this car home. Thanks, Luke. <laughs> Big up Luke saving the day. He's actually driving the car. Let's see if he moves. <laughs> so big up to my friend Luke, right? Luke underscore BSWC, right? I would not drive that car home. I just wouldn't trust it to make it back. So I'm actually currently walking back to the MX-5. Hopefully we don't see him broken down on the side of the road. Well, uh, past Michael. Uh, about that, a mile down the road, uh, this happened. <laughs> right, we're actually pulled over. We're waiting for recovery right now because apparently that's not going to make it up the hill. They think it's not going to make it back, so we're just going to recall recovery. Recover it, take it back to mine, and then we'll start on the clutch tomorrow. This is the G, this is my guy, he's sick. <laughs> Big up these recovery people, they were with us within like 10 minutes. Absolute Gs. And he absolutely ragged it to my house, so made the journey 10 times quicker, which was lovely. Oh yeah! So this is where we are now. Citroen C1 in the drive, ready to work on. Right then, let's actually start the car because I want to see how bad the clutch is right now because I believe it moves a tiny bit. Oh my God, the clutch is... Oh my God, wait. Oh my God, wait. Oh my God, wait. Wait, wait, wait bro, we're not... I'm, I'm just rolling back. We're not... Oh my God, it's... Hey, bro, there's no clutch. There's none. I just released the clutch fully. And we were still rolling backwards. Don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. <laughs> First gear. Oh my god, clutch is out. First gear. <laughs> what? Bro, we rinsed this clutch. Cindy. Here now. Sorry, darling. <laughs> That's actually joked. So this leaves me with a broken Citroen C1 on my driveway. I have done very basic things to a car from car servicing, air filters, exhaust systems, and that's pretty much it. I've never gotten this deep on a car before. So for today's video, me, a beginner mechanic, is about to change a clutch for the first time with no mechanic by my side. Can I do it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm spinning like a bloody disco. Woo, woo. So we need to take these wheels off, just like, like this. <laughs> Bro, why have I changed the clutch? I have no idea what I'm looking at. So battery is all out and as you can see here, we've got access to the engine mount. So these are like the cables that um, connect to the pedals, I think. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take out this drive shaft. Ooh, that was satisfying. Oh. Lovely job Oh, there you go. There's the oil. Oh, Jesus. That's brown. That's not clean. Sounds quite satisfying, though. Can you hear it? Oh, smells good. Why are my ears like that? 
Oh yeah, go on, keep going. Who didn't flush the toilet after they had a shit? Disgusting! Right, time to get this drive shaft out, let's go. I've got a wood chisel and a rubber mallet. Let's do this. Where the fuck is this thing? Oh god, is it? Ow! Oh my god, we've got it! We got the drive shaft! What the fuck? Oh my god! I just took it out my first drive shaft, that was really weird. Oh my god, this is like the celebratory lion catch, mate. Oh, look at that. What? Oh my god, that is nuts. Who knew? Oh my god, we could literally do like some bicep curls with this. Mm. Bit too light for me. Look at how much of a G my mum is. Look at that, look at that chicken, that is fried. That is like, that's better than KFC fried. Look at the juices on that as well. Oh my days. Got a bit of rice, cause you know, we're Asian in this bitch. This is disgustingly good, oh my god. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to And before we go into the exciting stuff like changing the clutch, I would like to say a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video. Car vertical. I use car vertical when checking this car when I was actually purchasing it over a year ago. My Mazda, my Scirocco, and my Fiat. Car vertical is actually a used car history checker that scans through an entire car's history, like this Citroen C1, and tells you everything you need to know, whether that's good history or bad history. So if you ever are in the used car market and you find a car that you like, you quite simply take the VIN or the registration from that car, put it through car vertical, and it will produce you a report. Now then, just to show you guys how easy car vertical is. I'm just gonna show you a report right here. So here is actually a report for a BMW 2 Series that I found online. Straight away though, it's not looking good, bruv. It says the mileage of this vehicle may have been tampered with. People actually do this and roll back the mileage to make it appear to have less miles on than it does so that they can sell it for more. Here is actually the mileage graph that car vertical produce. And as you can see, there's a dip in it to showcase the mileage being rolled back. Luckily, this vehicle is not wanted as stolen, nor does it have any outstanding finance. However, it does have an amber warning light saying that this vehicle was damaged. Damage. This is not good. So if we actually scroll down, we can actually see pictures of the damage that Car Vertical has collected from different sources such as car auction sites and we can see it's been in a massive front and rear end collision. Massive damage. So this is not good. So although you might be stood in front of a perfect car, it might have once looked like that BMW, which may lead to further repair costs down the line, and you might not have even known it was crash damage in the first place, like the Fiat Punto I looked at. If you guys are at all interested in making sure that the car that you're purchasing is good, and you're not being ripped off by any bad history, use my discount code TOSS for money off your report, or click the link in the description for an automatic 10% off. Anyway, let's actually get back to this clutch. Well, to be fair, we'll probably do it tomorrow because it's now getting dark. So literally, oh, okay, now we're slowly, slowly, slowly tiptoeing towards the clutch. Slowly. Luckily, I've taken CV joints out. I've changed CV joints. I've changed lower control arms. So it's kind of all what I've done before. So the clutch is when it gets new. The last thing was to take out all of the bell housing bolts, I believe they're called, around the gearbox that hold it to the engine. And Jesus, my hands and my arms were doing bloody yoga poses. They, these bolts are in the most stupid places. One of about fucking 50 of these bolts. Oh, damn, mate, it's cool. What the fuck? He's got it off that note. That's a really ugly angle, I bet. There's the bolts. There's the I two bolts. You're about to shove them in your ears. The way <laughs> <laughs> Last fucking bolt right there. Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> we got the clutch out. That right there, pressure plate is there. The gearbox part is off. Pretty much, I'm just trying to figure out how to squeeze it out that gap. I have no clue, because it hits the subframe and everything else, but it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out. So the next part was one of the worst parts. Literally, it just started raining while I was trying to get the gearbox out, so I was just getting dripped on. I felt like there was a sweaty ball bag above my head, like I just kept getting shit in my eye. <laughs> it did not come at ease, guys, let me tell you that. Quick chocolate bag. Love a good milky bar. Oh, my 
So all right then guys, like you saw, <laughs> I've been struggling in the rain. It took me quite a while to get this gearbox out because you have to flip it upwards and then drop it. You can't just drop it down. So bloody ridiculous Citroen, all right? Mazda wouldn't have done that. Mazda makes it super easy because they're Japanese. They're lovely people. But right here, we've got the new gear or the gearbox. That's crazy. This is ways a ton, you know? At least we've done like a weight reduction, bro. In here, we just need to change this bearing here. But we have to change that and then change the clutch and the pressure plate and that's it. Mm. And get it back on. I'm going to do that tomorrow though because it's fucking soaking. Come get inside. Right, the next thing to do, right, we're getting deep now, honestly, right, so I don't know if you guys saw, but yesterday, I actually changed the new whatever thing that is on there. Yeah, it's now on, clips are very secure on. But inside the engine, there is the bad boy clutch, mate. There it is. So pretty much we have to take off the pressure plate, release the clutch, and then install the new one. And that's job done, baby. It's like the bloody eye of the tiger. Just like that. A little bit of us later, we got the clutch out. Let's actually inspect this clutch. So here is actually the old clutch. And there's the new one. They look slightly different. They got smaller prong, uh, less prongs on this one. So I don't know if that's gonna be a big issue. But anyway, we'll get it on the car and see if it works. But you can see here, right? I don't know if this is, honestly, I don't know what I'm looking at. You can see on this side, there's quite a bit of meat or even it's a lot thinner on, on this one. It's been worn down, down to these nuts. You know what I mean? Like, look how much it's been worn down. And there's not even material left, it's just these nuts. I cannot believe I just took out my first clutch. People have seen my first journey to where I've installed my first ever air filter. And I was terrified of that. Honestly, I'd be the worst mechanic in the world. I'd just be like, man, that looks alright. Look at me now, Michael. Look at you go, man. Come on. I might not have done it correctly, or I might not know what I'm looking at, to be honest, but I didn't know what an air filter was at the start, blood. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> So to get the clutch back in, we're actually going to use this clutch alignment tool. This is to make sure it sits completely center. So yeah, that is the clutch for this Citroen C1 all done. Now, it's as simple as screwing it in and getting this big lump back on. Hey, honestly, if you're thinking you can never do a clutch, you're wrong. You are genuinely wrong. So far, it's actually been a genuinely simple-ish process to get this clutch off. It's just a lot of labor and a lot of brain power, which I don't have. Just remember, I was sat in this same position, doing an air filter to a Corsa and being scared. Now I'm taking apart gearboxes, for fuck's sake. That's nuts. I'm proud of myself, literally. Might sound big headed or something, but who thought I could change a clutch? I don't know how much of that you guys saw, but the new clutch is in and that looks juicy. Bro, it looks like a plasma cannon. What are you talking about? Are you chatting to me? That is ridiculous. That is the new clutch all installed and the new clutch and the pressure plate. It looks all centre, I think. But everything's cleaned up and everything. So yeah, it's now time to get this big punk of metal back on the car. Is it never, baby? You like that view? You dirty bugger. I've got it. The goods are being secured. Daddy. Right. So, this clutch won't go in unless it's tilted upwards. That's the difficult bit. It can't just be jacked straight up. But this is going to be a big boy job. Oh my days. This is harder than I thought. I hate cars. 
I just got it in. It's in. Bolt tightened up now. Or oh, one of the bolts tightened up. But the gearbox is now back in. That was really, really hard because the splines have to go into the splines in the engine. And it's just, obviously if they don't connect, you have to sit there twisting it uh, until they connect and slide into it. I just did the clutch. I need to tighten up all these bolts as soon as possible so that it doesn't drop, just in case. I did it. <laughs> Bro, you don't know how much this means to me. Like, wow, I did it. So this is how far we are now. Gearbox is back in, engine mounts on. I'm actually missing one bolt. I don't know where it is because it's the size of your mum's legs, right? Jesus Christ, very long. Next step was simply to get the drive shafts back on. They quite simply just needed a little bit of a hammer in and then they clipped into place. Then it was the battery mounting plate and then the battery. And then the last thing we had to do before lowering the car was get some gearbox oil in it. The front cooler is on and so is the car. Yes, 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 come on bro. We just did a clutch, you motherfucking piece of sh Oh my god, you know what? Fuck you and fuck you too. Come on, Ruth, what are you telling them? I just changed the clutch all by myself, right? Look like I've got a black eye. That's gas! Woo! Come on! So after four days work, or five days work or something, this car has been feeling sorry for itself. But it's all back together now. I mean, to be fair, right, there are bolts lying around everywhere i just don't know where they go so chloe if you're driving a car and um it falls apart right, uh, it literally wouldn't be you if we didn't lose something but i think i think everything is all on electrical connectors are on clutch cables are on what we've got to do now is got to lower the car down uh tighten up all the bolts and then we can test the clutch i can't believe it i just can't believe oh the wheel bolts oh, yeah. This right here is the moment of truth. This is whether I'm depressed for the week and I have to get under the car again and take apart this car. Or, or this is where we've done it right. First time beginner, never changed a clutch before. I'm gassed up, honestly. Wait, is it? I have a lot of faith in you Actually though, because working. there's not like a, there's not a single doubt in my mind that it doesn't work. What? Shut up. No, You're I'm actually. I hope I haven't either. Hold on, let me turn the. Mission quick. And I'm scared. I'm scared too. Um, there was no doubt, but now I'm scared. No, honestly, I'm scared. Well, the dash well, cam turns off. Let me. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. <laughs> well, we don't need the clutch. We need to get the dash cam. Um, from the clutch. Oh, it's quite oh, for fuck's sake! Don't say that. We obviously need to adjust the biting point. If we do. Why? <sighs> My heart's going now. You know how much work this has been. Let me put the clutch in just in case. Is that? Was that, a, was that an issue? It might not start. Well, technically, yeah, because I Yay! took the starter out. <laughs> that might just be some. Oh. oh. hold on. Now. It's not going to get. Hold on. I might have to force it in, but um, we'll have to look. We'll have to look. Let's have a look. Pop the bonnet. A few moments later. That did not go how I expected it to go. <laughs> it didn't even go in gear. It literally would not go in gear. Now, it can go in gear. So I'm just adjusting the clutch pedal through the adjustment in the thing. So we can put it in first. I'm not gonna move it too far. But, um, Oh, we got movement. That's good. Oh, that's good. Did you look shocked? <laughs> you look so scared. <laughs> what? I'm just saying. It didn't move before. <laughs> it did not move before. <laughs> so 
I'm, I'm literally dying. Oh my, and it grinded in reverse before. I never grind it as much as you grind it. Are you taking the piss? Oh yeah, bitches. So I'm gonna have to adjust it to bring that biting point up because that is ridiculously yeah, low. And there you go. Clutch cables are now adjusted on the Citroen C1. No, lads, I don't think you understand how much I shit myself. Imagine putting back a clutch together. 20,000 bolts, two drive shafts, and then it doesn't work. <laughs> but as simple as tightening the clutch cables, it works. So we're gonna go on our first drive right now. I'm actually terrified, honestly. Oh, why is this chair so sat right upright? Look how, look how upright. Is this how close it is? Jesus Christ. Like a fucking folded up ironing board, mate. But this is such a big deal. <laughs> but look at this. Let's go on a little drive. Bed this clutch in. We can't, we can't rag it round. Let's, let's see if it works. Oh, mate. That clutch is naughty, but no clutch slip from what I'm hearing. I'm not hearing no clutch slip. Clutch, you with me? You know that R2D2 um, meme? That's literally what I see. Oh, no, that's lit. What are we saying, man? Oh, mad. Quarter days. Quarter days, my guy. I didn't even know a car had a clutch, mate. I didn't even know what cars were. Right, some dickhead cyclists went down a single lane thing, so I'm gonna go this way. You ruined my day, you little spazzy bastard. Get a car! Dickhead, you little bitch. <laughs> Who knew, man? Who fucking knew? The fact that at the start of this video, the car would not move. You guys saw it, I put it in first gear and it would not move. To go from that to changing a clutch, myself and it now running perfectly it is the maddest experience it makes you so proud of yourself i can't even lie yeah i've got to drive the car around because chloe does not know what slow means she just she rags it so she would f the bedding of the clutch up so no clutch slip going up hills it was so bad before <laughs> no clutch slip we could not make it up hills. We literally struggled to get up hills. Bye, have a great time. All right, no showing off, you fucking fat. So, yeah, got a bloody, that's windy. So yeah, guys, unfortunately, that is it for the clutch change on the Citroen C1. Who fucking knew I could get this car moving again? I, I'm, Bro, I'm so unbelievably strong. Look at, look at the ticket. Look at me. <laughs> Lord, bless you. Bless you too. Oi, mate. Don't piss me off. Next time in an argument, I'm going to say, I changed the clutch. How much of a big win is that under your belt? I changed the clutch. The right person will understand how difficult that is. But overall, it wasn't as hard as you think. The bolts are just difficult to get to. I've been growing every day. I feel love. Guys, this is just a sign to you, right? Start. You can do anything. Look where I was. Mate, it's all on YouTube. I'm living proof that you can do what you want. It's not like changing the clutch is like um, winning a main stage boxing match, but it's a pretty win, big win, I think. A pretty big win, especially on your own. Anything you put your mind to, right? Whatever, how little it is, like putting an air filter on. If that's what you've always wanted to do, try it. Honestly, try it. What's the worst that could happen? And just imagine, guys, if that thing that you wanted to do went right, like this clutch. Just imagine. So yeah, guys, unfortunately, that is the end of today's video on the Citroen C1. Cannot believe that actually went right for once. But anyway, follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff. You don't have to, but it's there if you want. And subscribe if you are new. You don't have to, but it's there if you want. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you on faces in my next video. Whoop.